what's up everybody in this video i want to share a thought that i've been having for really a long time i just never got around to doing a video about it and i know right now that a lot of people you know funko pop collectors are very much hyped about the eccc um, exclusives that are about to be released and trust me there are some things i'm interested in too as far as that convention is concerned but with the way my collection is set up i pass my horror figures every morning you know so um I, I get a good look at them every morning a couple of times actually just because of the way that they are positioned and a lot of times when i look at my horror collection which i really do love the way that you know this is set up and this is the majority of my horror collection i have the walking dead nearby as well of course you saw that but um yeah it, it's just it just makes me think about though the possibility of funko doing a box dedicated to horror now i know that they do a horror box they tend to do one in the month of october um usually it's with a uh, hot topic so you know it's good that they do that i mean that does make a lot of sense but i just kind of wonder at the same time if they could do a horror box that's like either a monthly box you know like the um uh well now it's just the dc collector's box you know of course it used to be the legion of collectors and uh the collector core is still going with amazon uh, also, there's Disney Treasures, of course, Smuggler's Bounty, you know, these different boxes that they've had. I wonder if horror could actually sustain to be a monthly box. And I definitely want to hear your opinion about that. Do you think there's enough that Funko could do with horror to actually have a monthly box? But I don't know, maybe at least like a quarterly box would be cool. And I just know that Funko could really do some great things because some of the other horror boxes they've done previously, you know, I, I like some of the decisions that they made. The most recent one featured a uh, leather face with the uh, lady mask on. And, um, you know, I know some people mainly wanted that because they were trying to get the chase variant of that pop figure, which I completely understand, you know, trying to get that one. And, uh, you know, the other items, though, I think some people were kind of lukewarm on, but I thought overall it was a pretty decent box. So, um, yeah, I know that Funko has it within them to put together some great horror boxes. And, of course, I do have some ideas about what I think they could do with certain boxes based around horror. Of course, you know, when it comes to the most well-known slashers, uh, you know, Freddy Krueger and Jason Voorhees come to mind. And uh, I think they totally could do like a Freddy versus Jason box. But since they've already done Freddy and Jason, and they've done a pretty good job with both of them, I still love my Freddy Krueger pop with him, you know, with the syringes. Um, yeah, that that's definitely one of my favorite pops in my collection. And I like the, uh, the bag mask Jason Voorhees that they did as well. I think that's one of the better horror figures that they've done in recent history. So really like both of those figures. But yeah, obviously there's more that they could do with Freddy and Jason. And, um, you know, instead of just having them, you know, facing off against each other, I mean, they could do a movie moment, obviously. And as a matter of fact, from the movie Freddy vs. Jason, I always loved the shot of them uh, facing off against each other in the cabin with the fire in the background and everything. That would be a pretty incredible movie moment. I mean, there is a Freddy and Jason 2-pack already. They had, the, uh, I think, a bloody 2-pack that was a box lunch exclusive. But, yeah, that movie moment would be an awesome option. But then they also could give us more variants of the characters. For example, um, I would definitely love to see jason voorhees as you know the jason x version of him now yes that is one of the cheesier movies within the franchise and that's saying a lot because there's definitely some cheesiness within the franchise but yeah just the look of jason x i think a lot of people like that look you know and it's unfortunate too with the on the the video game friday the 13th the video game they were never able to officially um make that a scan uh you know of well one of the looks for jason because of this whole lawsuit and everything that went down with uh that franchise but uh yeah it'd be very cool if funko could do a jason x pop and then as far as freddy is concerned i actually would love to see a pop of super freddy i think that would be pretty funny to see um i know some people have said before in my comment section that they would also love to see uh freddy krueger with the power glove which i mean you know for people that get the reference that's cool i think there's actually you know some younger people that may not even get that reference anymore but that that's another cool option but i definitely lean towards a uh, super freddy and then like i said jason x as well i think that'd be very cool it'd be very generous to put two of those to you know those two pops together in one box but that would be pretty amazing so yeah that's my idea for you know a freddy versus jason box also with Jason X, I mean, he could be in a box along with a variant of Freddy or 
they could take Jason X and maybe do a um, a horror box that focuses on like um, I guess sci-fi. You know, sort of has sci-fi in the mix there. For example, another item in the box, and I know some people are not crazy about plushes, but I think it would be pretty funny to see a plush of a critter. Um, if you know the movie Critters, I, I really like the original movie. I didn't see the sequels, and I think they actually kept the sequels going for a while. But yeah, I think that would be pretty awesome, you know, to have a plush of a critter in there. And then you could have Jason X. Like I said, that that's one way they could go with Jason X to put him in that box. Um, I know that that'd probably be generous for Funko to even do Jason X within a box like that because I mean he would do very well as a standalone figure but yeah like I said if they weren't gonna put him in a box with Freddy that is another route they could go and um you know they could work in some other um, alien type characters I mean there could be a variant of a xenomorph you know um yeah I mean there's a lot they could do there you know there's a lot of aliens from different movies and uh, definitely let me know if they were to do a box like that a horror box themed around sci-fi you know what are some other characters they could possibly include you know let me know that in the comments what you think and also along with horror I think it would be very cool if they had a box that just focused on um, female characters um, you know definitely representing for uh, you know the I guess the antagonists and also maybe even the scream queens like maybe they could do a pot based around one of Jamie Lee Curtis characters like maybe even uh, Jamie Lee Curtis based off of uh, you know the latest Halloween movie um, you know, that'd be cool, her with the shotgun or something like that. And, um, you know, as far as antagonists or villains are concerned, I think Samara from, um, I think that's how you say her name, maybe I'm mispronouncing it, but Samara from the uh, the Ring franchise or the Rings movies, you know, um, that character would be very cool. And actually, I think Funko actually could, uh, if they could get the rights for the character, they could do a standalone pop. And then as far as the version of her within the... Um, you know the actual box if they were to do a subscription box or even just a standalone box have a version of her where she's coming out of the television I think that would be very cool and that's one of my favorite horror moments of all time I love that moment I still sometimes will pull up uh, that scene on YouTube just to see it again because it was handled so well I remember the fir very first time I saw it I was like man that is such a creepy thing to think about you know something coming out of the television like that so yeah if they could do her maybe like either like halfway out of the television or like a sort of like a movie moment type thing where she's crawling and like she's in front of the television you can tell that she just came out of it and have like the well on the screen you know that would be very cool and um, you know again let me know some other female characters you know from horror movies that you think would work well within that box but uh, those are just a couple that came to my mind I think it would be very cool though to have a box dedicated to you know women of horror basically if they were to do a horror box that focused on holidays I think uh, you know that would be where they could put leprechaun in the mix or a variant of leprechaun again you know that's if they could get the rights to actually do uh, leprechaun but uh, yeah I, I just I want a leprechaun pop you know that's one thing I would like to see when I look at my horror collection and you know there's a lot of nostalgia within it but um and I, I like the first leprechaun movie so I have a little nostalgia for that too I did not watch all those follow-ups and I know they got very silly with it leprechaun in the hood and lepre leprechaun in space and all that different stuff going on so I didn't follow all of those but I actually did like the first leprechaun movie and I just like a uh, uh, Warwick Davis portrayal of that character you can tell he has a lot of fun playing that character so uh, again you know like I said if they had a box that was horror themed but also focusing on the holidays in general I think the leprechaun could be in the mix and um you know I feel like Funko has already done like evil versions of Santa Claus like that there's plastic plastic uh versions of uh, you know evil Santa and they've also done that evil looking snowman flaky which I love that pop that's a pretty cool pop and of course they have Krampus as well which Krampus is almost like the evil version of Santa Claus even though he doesn't wear the actual you know like Santa Claus type outfit but I mean who knows maybe they could do a variant another variant of Krampus um you know where he is actually rocking the Santa outfit or something like that but uh, yeah, like I said, you know, just a, a horror box focused around the holidays would be kind of cool. And I know it's not like the most well-known horror movie, but um, My Bloody Valentine, I think, is the movie where the um, the main antagonist is actually dressed like a miner, like he's he's rocking a mining outfit. I kind of like that movie, uh, even though honestly I didn't see the original. I saw the remake, but I actually kind of liked it. And um, it was a 3D movie. It was somewhat cheesy, but I, I liked it overall. So I like the look of that villain as well with the minor outfit on. So yeah, the the main villain from um, My Bloody Valentine or Bloody Valentine, whatever it was. Uh, yeah, that'd be cool in my opinion as well. Funko has also shown that they are willing to do 
movie moments in their sub boxes you know the subscription boxes um they did that with the collector core they've done it with smuggler's bounty as well so i think it would also be very cool with the shining if they had a movie moment where you have that you know the course one of the most classic moments from that movie the here's johnny moment where you actually have um the wife on one side of a door like basically just have a wall you know have the door there and um have the wife you know cowering on one side you know holding the knife and then have the hole in the door where you know where the axe has been you know chopping into the door and actually have jack torrance on the other side i think that would be a very cool uh, movie moment to include in the shining box and then you know they could add in some other little things as well but i mean you know maybe a t-shirt or something but i mean let the movie moment of course be that main big ticket item um, i would just like to see that you know as a movie moment in general even if it wasn't in a box but yeah like i said that is a movie moment they could possibly place into a box and um, i'm sure there's some other horror movie moments as well that would fit well in a box like this if they were to do one Another theme that has a lot of potential would be a box focusing on clowns, especially killer clowns from outer space, which is something I really would like to see Funko do, and I think they would do an amazing job with those designs. And then within that same box, maybe they could have a Pennywise item. I don't think he would need to be a pop figure, but at least something representing Pennywise, like a t-shirt or a plush or even an action figure, maybe. And then um, also the Terrifier, which is a recent character, which is a very creepy character, could be in the mix for that particular box as well. Those are really the majority of my ideas. I did a video, um, I don't even know how long ago it was. I did do a video previously, though, about some horror characters I would like to see as pops. And, uh, of course, there are some other ones like uh, the Creeper from Jeepers Creepers and Candyman. Candyman is a big one I would like to see as well. But uh, yeah, like I said, I'm very happy though with what Funko has done thus far with horror. I just would like to see even more. I mean, that's why I want to see more because they have done so well with um, you know those figures thus far. I really don't know though, like in terms of the rights to do other characters, just how much sway Funko really has right now. You know, so we'll see what happens in the future. But yeah, I want to hear your opinion at this point though. Do you think there is enough going on or enough ideas out there as far as horror is related that Funko actually could make it? like a monthly box or maybe even a quarterly box I don't know quarterly might be a little bit more reasonable um, you know every three months to just drop a horror box because it, it's very cool you know like I said to get the boxes around uh, Halloween you know that that's you know everybody likes to celebrate Halloween or you know a lot of people like to celebrate Halloween and basically uh, all of October enjoy horror movies and horror collectibles and everything like that but again I, I definitely um, want to know your opinion though do you think there's enough going on with horror that Funko actually could do a you know boxes more often you know and definitely let me know some of your ideas as well you know what are some more horror related figures that you would like to see from Funko please share that down in the comments but yeah I'm gonna cut myself off there because trust me I could go on and on and on and, and like the more that I look at my horror figures the more ideas come to my mind you know about things I could like this you know i would like to see but like i said i really love what funko has done thus far there are some pretty cool horror figures out there but yeah i'm gonna leave it there you know for now and i look forward to reading your ideas and thank you all for taking the time to check out this video i'll talk to you all again real soon